Three to the That's where the follow is at, bro. Let's go. We in the building. We definitely in the building. Getting set up for this podcast. Y'all, bear with us. Bear with us. TikTok and IG was really good. <laughs> and the D's recording. The reason you know what I'm saying one thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit a little note on here one day. I'm gonna hit a little high. So we got thirty minutes though before this thing cut off for real, man. So we got thirty minutes. Yeah. Thirty minutes at a time. Uh, How y'all doing? Y'all come in, we getting prepared for this podcast. Y'all bear with us. We got a special treat for y'all. Let's see we got See who we got. Send some likes. Appreciate that. 16. That's what's up. I appreciate that. Grand risings to you too, Queen. Where y'all from? What city you from? Yeah, we getting that. Yeah, we looking good on that too. We building that that page up. How y'all doing? Y'all come on in. Y'all in for a treat. We about to get this podcast started. We just getting everything set up. From Houston, Texas. Shout out to Houston. That's that's a blessing. That's a blessing. We going to get this joint started, man. Yeah, that look good, too. Yeah. Most definitely. Y'all come on in. Come on in. Y'all in for a treat today. We about to go in. We going in today. And make sure y'all follow me if you don't follow me. The page almost at 10,000 followers. Y'all help your boy out. Show some love and support. Mic check. One, two, one, two. Mic check. We peeking a little bit, but I don't give a damn. We're going to fix that. We're going to fix that? That's what's up. Getting in position. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I'm alright. I'm all fine. Y'all come on in. Come on in. We about to go. We about to get busy. Tracking is on. I'm shooting at 30 frames per per, per every frame. That's what's up. That's solid. Brothers with a cause podcast. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Y'all come on in. Come on in. What we looking like over there? We live. You ready? All right, all right. What's up, everybody? This is Big Southern. In spite of the West Bank monster. And you are now watching the BWAC podcast. Uh, we're doing something a little different today. We're getting set up. We took a little high hiatus because we're trying to get things set up right for y'all. As y'all can see, we got our... Banner up and everything. I'm gonna move out the way a little bit. You know, go ahead and go show that out, man. Yeah, check that out. Check uh, that out. And y'all definitely, if y'all are interested in merch, if y'all are on IG or mm-hmm. TikTok, you can go to the link in our description. That's right. And we, y'all definitely could get shirts um, and all types of. We have all types of merch, water bottles, and all types of stuff. Uh, we're working on getting some more merch too, as well at the web at, on our website. Yeah. Make sure y'all subscribe to our YouTube channel it's for um, the videos that we post, the full episodes, and um, we also have we also on Anchor FM. If you want to check out the episode we have now, that's been distributed everywhere to every podcast channel. So most definitely, this is Brothers with a Cause. Be whack. But don't be wet. Let's get it in. So, <laughs> what are we talking about today, Big Southern? Well, I know on on my mind, I was talking to my brother earlier this week, and we was talking about uh, 
when people start businesses, what they go through, you know, the trials and tribulations, and uh, some people, you know, have what it takes, and some people don't. But it's only it's a mindset. So if you already defeated before you even started by your, you know, your mindset, then of course you ain't gonna make it. So and I, and I'm gonna use my own personal testimony because. I've been going through it for the past few weeks, and I ain't been telling nobody. I ain't even told my brother, but it's just the the stresses of the world can can bring any man down. But if you allow it to bring you down, then that's when all you that's when you become defeated, you know. And uh, I won't be defeated. He ain't gonna be defeated as long as me and him vibing and rocking out. We ain't gonna let this be defeated. Uh, Not at all. Iron show up and iron man definitely. And we've been doing uh, the b Wack podcast for a little over maybe about a month and a half. And we're going to start, you know, we're going to start seeing the uh, evolution. We're going to start ramping it up. Everything is going to be better. Uh, as we, of course, we're going to get better. We're going to have the merch is coming. So, you know, if y'all, y'all out there asking for the merch, you know, just be patient with us. We're going to have it for you. And we're going to let y'all see what we're rocking with. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. But the, the mindset that you need to have as an entrepreneur is a, is a nonstop no quit, bleed for this shit. You gonna sweat. You gonna you gonna cry. You gonna you gonna have pain. There's gonna be days where you ain't gonna want to get up and go and do it. And there's gonna be days where everything's gonna be nice and smooth. But it's those days where you having hard times is when you gonna have to elevate your mind and you are gonna have to elevate the ones around you. And y'all push each other like me and him. We push each other to do what we need to do to make this work. You know, and it ain't. Like we always say, it ain't about chasing the money. It's about chasing the happiness. Mm. And it's about helping other people that, you know, a lot of people can't help themselves. That's a fact. A lot of people don't know they need help. That's a fact. So that's why you got to pay attention to what's going on out there in the world, what's going on out there in society. Everything that's happening right now has already been told before. It's, it's biblical, man. It's crazy out here. It's already predestined. Predestined. So, that's the thing. Speaking upon a lot of people need help. Now, when we started this podcast, mm -hmm. um, I seen a lot of artists. They was reaching out um, to me on certain content, you know, that I was creating. And they was complaining that, you know, they didn't know really know what to do or what direction to go right, right. to um, promote their music. They feel that if they make some content with substance, mm -hmm. that is not going to get viewed more as much as something when you're talking reckless. You know what I'm right. saying? We're talking chaotic. But that's not true. Arthur. That is definitely not true. And the thing is, they are not marketing their music correctly. Right. And it took me it took me a while to understand certain techniques mm -hmm. and certain strategies to use when creating content and getting my music heard. Right. So we did say the first month it's been over a month now. Yeah. Um, we would help out and shout out uh, any artists that was interested. A few artists did get, um, a few people got to us. You know, we, we promoted and, you know, we gave, them, we gave them a good look on our platforms and our pages or whatever. And that was good, but they couldn't, this is the thing. The people who was complaining, mm -hmm. they didn't reach out. Yeah, yeah. But they the main ones complaining about nobody's listening to the music. Yeah. Well, you gotta understand the fact that you're a new artist. No one knows who's no one knows who you are. You not you probably you probably haven't done enough to put yourself in front of people. You probably didn't explain yourself. Your artwork is probably not up to par or whatever. Um all of these things, um, you need to seek help for it. Like, that's if right. you're not willing, if you're not willing to put work in, mm -hmm. then there's a lot of money that's gonna come out of your right. pocket. So you gotta think of it like this: if the time that I'm spending is very valuable, so I should be learning different mm -hmm. strategies and techniques. I mean, you got people on YouTube giving you a, a bunch of game, yeah. like dropping crazy jewels. They're telling you like they might, and then they then they'll turn around and sell you the course because you're still not catching the simple jewel that they drop. You really right. don't have to honestly don't if you listen to what they say. Yeah, you yeah. don't even have to buy the course. Right. You just take heed to what people's tell what mm -hmm. most people telling you. So the main thing is when you're reaching, when you're trying to reach people, 
everything's got to be presentable and then you can't overload them with just your work. Right. People want to see other things, man. They don't want to just see you all the time. I keep mm-hmm. saying that until you become a household name. Mm-hmm. Now, when you become a household name and you like a Bootsy or, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. just any big artist out there, they're going to look for you now. Right. You know, but that takes time. Those people fought all types of battles. You know what I'm saying? You got mm-hmm. other people, they might have some conspiracy theories or whatever, and that's that's cool. It could be true. It might be false. You never know, but that's besides the point. You don't have to sell your soul. That's a lie. You don't have to you don't have to do none of that foolishness. I'm watching income coming in from streaming mm-hmm. from my music. And I'm watching every month it's starting to get bigger. Like yeah. the checks are starting to be bigger. It's a process. Yeah. It's a, you got to be patient. If yeah. you're not willing to wait to see this thing all the way out mm-hmm. and fully see it through, then you're in the wrong place. Like you, If you have the money, blessings to you. You have the money to yeah. spend, blessings to you. And do what you got to do. But you're going to realize you're spending more money than you're supposed to when you really figure out how easy this is. Yeah. And just realize that being an independent artist, with the freedom that you do have, just know in the, in the beginning, you're going to be broke. And that's because you believe in yourself. Well, you should be believing in yourself. You should be riding with yourself. But you're going to be a broke artist. And that's only because you're trying to get, like you said, you're trying to get your name out there. You know, get out of your pride hmm. and, and humble yourself. I mean, like I, I, I used it before. Everybody don't know who LeBron is. Yeah, I know we know who LeBron is, but this whole world... People have lives, and, and, and there's other things going on, and there's people on every corner of this globe. Right. And everybody don't know everybody. No matter how big your celebrity might be, they ain't known to everybody. That's why they have marketing. That's why they have promoting. That's why they promote the movie. That's why they promote the music. Because if they didn't promote the music, nobody would know they had it exist. They didn't know they, even with Drake, hmm. big as he is, he still got to promote. Still have. He can't just say, hey, I got a new single. Bye. Right. He still got a market. He still got to promote. And this is the way it is. But humble yourself and know. And then on top of that, in the back, the back end of it, the back office, where you have to set up your publishing, you got to get those mechanical rights and royalties. You know what I'm saying? Your pro organization that you need to set that stuff up because that's going to be the longevity that you're going to use when 20, 30 years, believe it or not, you ain't going to be rapping no more or singing no more or whatever. You'll still be getting those checks. You'll still be getting that that compensation for the work that you did prior, only because, because I mean, that's the same thing happened to him. The stuff that he did 10 years ago, he's getting paid off of it. The stuff I did 10 years ago, I'm still getting paid off of it, and I ain't working for it. I'm sitting here talking to y'all. We sitting here talking to y'all. That's but, a fact. but we only doing this because we we here to give back. We here to help people. We legitimately are trying to help people, but if you ain't listening to us, or you ain't taking heed on what we're telling you because of the mistakes that we made, you're going to make the same mistakes, and it, be, it might be catastrophic. You might not be able to come back from those mistakes. So this is a platform where we ain't tearing nobody down. It's constructive criticism, and it's all love. Yeah, we might we might get joked up. How y'all doing, yeah, matter yeah. of fact? I see all the comments. Shout out to you. How y'all doing? Yeah. Make sure you follow if you're not following. But this is, this is, where, I'm, this is where I'm mad with it. Is um, you have a time span, you know, you have a time span when you release any any project, and it's a certain things that you have to do before this project is released. Before you even release, right? Before it's released, yeah. you're not. I mean, some people already know. If you're watching mm-hmm. and you know already, and you know better than me, and you're more successful than me, mm-hmm. blessings to you. That's right. I can only share my experiences. Um. If you're not, like I said, if you're not doing the things that's necessary that you need to do before you actually promote this project, mm-hmm. that's going to that's gonna put you on a decline. Another thing, when you do get your music and everything rolling, those I'm just being honest, those checks take a little minute to start rolling through. They can hit anywhere from six months to a year, and that's just real talk. Yeah, they're hitting like streaming going to come every yeah. month. Like yeah. That's mechanical. That's going to come every month, but... The full benefits that you're reaping off, mm-hmm. it's going to take a minute. So now we have this situation. Say you get hot. 
Now somebody's coming there at you with a bulk of money. Mm-hmm. You're going to accept that money and give up your rights mm-hmm. just because they came at you with a lot of money and be crying at the end of the um at the end of it all That's crying they broke they 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 buying they basically going to buy your silence cuz they going you going to have to do what they say when they say how they say it where what they wear uh tell you to wear they going man they control your life and then and then look they even trying to take percentages of people youtube channel oh, which man. i think is foolishness you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day some people might feel like some people might feel like this. I'm not down in them or putting mm. down. I might not make it to see this out. Whatever they give me right now, let yeah. me get that and I can work with that. Yeah, that's, that's cool. But let's say let's say your your um, project was already on the path yep. of doing crazy numbers. What if you waited just to see what yeah, that return would be? Wait. What if you waited? Is it does it make a big difference? It, it make, to me it make a huge difference because now I got an income that's gonna be hitting my hitting my um bank account forever. But as look, long as I'm you know. But listen to this though. When like you residual. said if they coming for you and they they want you and they offering you I don't care how much it is, if it's a ten thousand to a hundred thousand to a million dollars, if they offering you a million dollars, time that by ten at least. That's how much you worth. At least because they're going to give you just a small piece because they know right now that you're a starving artist. And they know we can buy you for whatever we want, really. We can get all... They ain't even got to buy you. Now, well, I've seen this, this whole trend in the past 10 years. They're giving people chains and shit. Or they giving people... They give you a gift. A couple oh, hundred thousand. Oh, they give you he a ain't couple, never had yeah, that in his life. If I give you 10,000 right now, to the, just to the average person, 10,000 will change your life. Why do you think they tax it? Mm. At ten thousand, because ten thousand can change people' life. Five thousand, you can pay some bills and you can put some stuff up, you know, and you can do something nice for yourself. But ten thousand, you can start your business. You can get things put, moved out the way and, and and start everything for yourself and be good. But they give you that little money, and then once they take that money and you sign, because I see them, they don't never really read. They just oh okay, and then they push that money right in front of you, and they're like go ahead. And they sign, and after that, thank you. You'll never see that. The person that set up that paperwork, you'll never see them again. They behind the scenes. And then, all right, so now we gave you that money. Uh, we need this from you. We need that from you. All that stuff that you did beforehand, that predates them. We taking all that. I did it. I worked for that. And that's the way it is. They're going to take, take, take from you. So if you if you think you work for a million dollars, times that by 10, and then go get $10 million. But you got to be patient, and you got to wait, man. Key thing, and you another thing. Your friends, if your friends support you, that's fine. Yeah, that's your family support you, that's that's even that's a bonus. Like yeah. you understand how big of a bonus that is. But majority of the time, you gotta think people know you. So if they know you, mm-hmm. somebody might have jealousy in their heart. You know. So yeah. if you're yo if you're Main thing is I'm gonna promote to my family and my friends. They know you. Yeah. They see you every day. They, every day. they hear you all the time. <laughs> they know you. They probably tired of you rapping and singing yeah. or whatever it is. They probably tired of all of that. Oh, so, but man. there's other people that never heard you that don't know you and they That's might it. love you. That's it. So if you say, I mean, if your if your family and the people around you love you. That's cool. But they might not love you until yeah. they see other people loving you. Yep. That's how it works. Certain people you got to get away from. We, we talk about this. We talk about these things um, in, a past, um, in a past podcast. Mm-hmm. A lot of people, they might be jealous of you. Like you can't, you can't necessarily rely on that helping hand. Mm-hmm. And once, once, by them being so close to you and them being very personal to you, that can hurt you in a certain way. And it can stop you completely. Mm-hmm. Now you listening to the lies they're telling you. Now if you close that, if you close your ears to what they're telling you mm-hmm. and stay focused and do whatever you had to do, no matter what nobody's saying, you're gonna see a different result from what they talking about. Yeah. Happens all the time to people who listen, who who take that that, that instinct. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Listen, 
if if you spiritual, they listen to the spirit. If you not, you you might say something like, "I got a gut feeling" or whatever. Whatever the case may be, mm-hmm. whatever whatever floats your boat, make sure you follow that, and you don't have to listen to you don't have to listen to people. That's right. That's you, you don't have to listen to people and the negativity and what they talking about, how they're trying to tear you down and bring you beneath them because mm-hmm. they want to see you on the same level. That's right. A lot of people knew gonna see you. And they're not gonna like what you. They're not gonna like you because I don't know you for one. And you're trying to do something on a level like you're you're major. We don't know who you are, so we don't like you. You can't listen to them. Yeah. But thank you for coming through, though. Anyway, mm-hmm. thank you from stopping by and seeing. Yeah. But maybe maybe a few um years down the line, you might be coming back, and your mind might change, or you might feel the same way. People, the type people are funny, man. Mm-hmm. They change like they change like the weather. One moment they with you, the next moment they not. But it's only up to you. That's human nature, man. You know, that's up to you, man. What you gonna do? You gonna keep going or you gonna stop because they said some crazy comment? I'm a jo- I'm a be- I'm joked out. I be joked out. I'm gonna laugh with you. I'm a- I might get at you. I ain't gonna play with you too much, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you cross the line, you cross certain boundaries, you know. It is what it is. Yeah, we don't yeah. have to go into that. You know what I'm saying? Because we are grown men. And, you know, we're grown men. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just you got to you gotta rely. You got to rely on what your God-given ability. Yeah, yeah. And you got to make wise decisions. And you'll see. You'll see your the outcome. You'll see a change. Hmm. And it might happen f- quicker than you think. And you never know who's watching you. That's another thing. You never know who... Um, the most I put in your place to help you. Hmm. And take heed to that. Because if you don't, you could set yourself back a couple of years. I always try. My whole mindset is, and it took me a long time to get this mindset, but you have to live for yourself. Don't worry about if people are going to like you or not. All these, I don't know how many billions, but it's billions of people, three, four billion people, probably seven billion people in this whole world, man. Out of those seven billion people, everybody ain't gonna like you. That's a fact. It's, it's, it's okay. It's fine. But if you don't like yourself, and you have an issue with yourself, hmm. how do you expect anybody to like you or respect you or to follow you or anything like that? And like I said, it's, it starts with your... Your spirit. I'm gonna say spirit because you know everybody ain't gonna believe in God and whatever. But your spirit is 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 universal. That's everything, hmm. and, and and that's from the earth all the way to to the sky to the moon. And if you can't vibe <clears throat> and rock with yourself, then how you expect anybody to rock with you? So that's why we are always trying to encourage from the smallest all the way up to the biggest influential person. And it's just it is what it is because. Everybody had to start somewhere. Everybody had to come from having nothing to having a little or something to having the, the fine wealth that they have today. You know, the richest men in the world, they had to start somewhere. But what are you going to do on that, that, that elevation when you moving up? Are you going to be kicking people in the ass on the way up and stepping on them on the way up? Or are you, mm-hmm. as you go, you're going to try to help who you can but if they don't want your help, then you just got to keep moving. And it took me a long time because we talked about this. Mm. You, you be trying to take people with you. You be trying to help people so much to the point where it's detrimental to your health. It's detrimental to your to your your fluidity in this world. And then it be hindering you because you be like, okay, I'm going to wait on this person because we supposed to be doing this. Right. And then. But that, that person not feeling the same way you feel. And then the energy that you put into energy. it, you like. Come to a point where you're exhausted. You're like, man, you know what? I can't do this shit no more. So then when you do decide to move around or not call as much or don't call at all, now you're acting funny. It ain't I'm acting funny. I'm just, I'm staying out of your way so you can stay out of my way so I don't fuck you up. Right. Exactly. <laughs> some, some people just clowns. Like, yeah, part of my they, <laughs> Some people just clowns. They'll see yeah. what you're doing and doubt it. Yeah. But on the low, they acting like they with it. Yeah. But they come in to see so they can That's run all. back and talk a bunch of nonsense. I could see through that. I've been yeah. I've been studying people my whole life. I was I was a quiet kid, mm-hmm. but I was quiet for a reason because I was paying attention. 
I talk I talk a little more now because I got a lot to say. You know, I don't even know how I even started rapping. I used to keep that to myself or whatever. I, I wouldn't like get in front of cameras. That was never that was never my thing. I never wanted to do none of that. But I start saying that um it's de- it's definitely very necessary, but all of a sudden I had an interest to rap. So all of these things work hand in hand. Mm-hmm. People going to come up to you. Um, they, I mean, if you start doing what you're supposed to be doing, mm-hmm. you're going to get interviews and you got to you gotta pretty much know what to do. And that's a whole learning process. But these days, if you hot, you could, you could, man, you could say anything in an interview. They, they, they fucking with you. Yeah. Like you. You could, like people just sitting in there just talking crazy, like and going by. Just saying anything. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. That's when you reach that status of when you could do that. But still in all, I still I would I would prefer to keep it professional because it just make more sense. It's longevity at the end of that. Like mm-hmm. they promoting they promoting so much nonsense to keep the youth in jail and killing each other yeah. and making them and, and giving them this fantasy world that don't exist. Yeah, right. A lot of these dudes, they can't fight at all. You put them, you take the gun. I'm just being honest. They don't have no hands. You take the gun away from them. They soft as cotton. I know that. And I'm from, listen, I'm from New Orleans. I've seen a lot of murderers, a lot of killers. You'll be surprised how many of them soft as cotton. I'm going to say that. You soft without that gun. You don't have no hands. Hmm. You ain't fight. You can't fight if somebody paid you to. Hmm. So like, we gotta move a certain way. Now you got. I gotta carry something because you scary. Yeah. So it's like this world is this world chaotic, but they still need somebody to be that example. Yeah. I'm glad we have this podcast because nobody can monitor us and tell us what to say. Why right. would we want that freedom? Why would you want to go take a hundred thousand from him just to be working for this man? And you could and you could do this on your own. You're too lazy. Mm-hmm. You think you you wasting money. Yeah. You ain't about to put no work in. That go back to your mentality. That's how I know you. You if you're not willing to put work in and time and dedicate your dedicate hours to this, mm-hmm. to me you self is cotton. Mm. Because when it comes down to it. You ain't even about to do nothing for yourself. Right. You're not about to take care of you yeah. at all. Without forget having a business, forget having a business. You're not about to take care of yourself as a person. You're going to die slowly or quickly, depend, depending on you. You know what I'm saying? So time goes by, yeah. life goes by, but the better, the more cho- the better choices you make, is something better waiting for you at the end. Yeah. That's a fact. You can't change that. You can't you can't change that if you wanted to. So just just keep that in mind if you if you're watching. Even if I'm not trying to even get at you, I'm telling you you soft because I want you to change. Right. I'm not talking about you. I'm just being honest with you. If you believe that, you believe in that weapon and all this nonsense, you think that's what it is. Yeah. You want to be, you think you tough because you was in jail. I was in jail. I went there before, but what that got to do with anything? Yeah. When you come out there, I'm supposed to look at you like what? Like you some super duper alpha male? Hmm. You think that, if you think that's what it is, you already lost. Yeah. They're going to eat you alive out of there. That's it. If you think you coming to grown men and scaring them with that, nah. we run circles around clowns like that. So at the end of the day, you got to get your mind right. You, you want to be a king, but you, you thinking like a pawn. There's a mentality. That's how pawns think. You a pawn. You will never be a king like that. So at the end of the day, even if you be who you are, man, you are you are who you are. Ain't nothing wrong with it. If you got to work a job, nothing wrong with that. Nothing I don't wrong go work a job. You're not lame because you work a job and he's slinging whatever. Yeah. He got to learn his lesson too at the end of the day. So if he own a business, it don't make you. Y'all doing what y'all got to do. What make you happy? Do what make you happy. Yeah. I know people who work jobs and live a happy life. They come home, they barbecue, they drink, they little bill might smoke a little something. Mm. They live in happy lives. They don't happy. they don't need all that extra. They don't need it. Don't but need you it. might you might need a little more extra depending on your lifestyle. Mm-hmm. So you do what works for you. But like my brother said, 
Stop chasing that and chase the happiness. All that comes. Right on. Build yourself up. Get this here strong. Everything comes. Your spiritual, all that matters. All, all, that, matters. all that matters. I'm not at a point. I see a lot of people caught content. They try, they, they smart, highly intelligent people. Yeah. Not taking it away from them. Y'all doing study, all that research to convince somebody like me that God not real or something like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. When I already know, I don't, I'm not there. I'm not there with you. I'm not studying. I've been past that. I mean, my experiences and things, I can prove that in my life hmm. that he real. So I'm not looking to convince you or I'm not, I'm not trying to convert you, but I'm going to walk with that right. and I'm going to express that to you. If you believe, blessings to you. If you don't, blessings to you still, that's on you. That's on you and your body. So I'm not, we, we here just to give the main thing that people not going to give you. We here to tell you what people won't ever tell you. They gonna hide it from you. No, we ain't gonna do that. Not over here. Not that brothers with a cause. That's the cause. <laughs> That's the cause, right there. That's the cause. So man, so man, I don't. I know, man. It's it's just it's a lot, man. A lot going on in this world, but we still find time to you know do what we gotta do and have mm -hmm. our fun, man. Have fun while you're here. Laugh, crack some jokes, man. Life is very short. Yeah. Blink of eye. So, no matter how healthy you are, no matter what you got going on, it could be gone tomorrow, man. So, like I say, and but I mean, like I say, you know, it'll take time. You know, we be talking to everybody, and also we talking to ourselves at the same time because we gotta keep reassuring. Affirmation, affirmation is the key. You gotta keep on telling yourself, "This is what I can get it done. This is what I can accomplish because I know I can do it." Not because you want to do it for somebody else or. You, you need to do it for the monetary gain or whatever, but do it because it makes you happy. Because once you do that, once you find that happiness, all that other stuff will come. And then, and then the people will follow you too because ain't nobody trying to be around nobody negative all the goddamn time. That's a fact. Uh, you want that positivity. You want to feel good. You want to laugh, feel good. We want to drink, smoke, chill, but you want that positive vibe. Mm. If I'm going to sit and soak and you know be negative and Everybody has that day, you know, they need to gather their thoughts and they get this stuff together. But at the end of the day, you need to find that, that center to your life. You got to find that positivity. You got to make sure your yin and yang is straight. Man, I sat there, I sat down running with my brother mm -hmm. and he, um, he made a good point. He was like, people see the light inside you. Mm. Not, everybody. Not everybody. Somebody with light inside them will see the light inside you and recognize it and salute you. Blessings to you. Other people will see the light inside you and they want to destroy that. Yeah. They want to destroy you. Had, they mad about something. I don't know what's going on. Well, life is rough. It's for, just for you? Yeah, just for you. <laughs> like, I could tell you a bunch. Like, you want, I, don't yeah. want, I don't like soaking in misery because I got, I grown past that and I'm at an understanding that that don't do nothing but hurt. Mm -hmm. That's not going to do nothing but hurt me and stop my progress. I don't have time for it. Yeah. So certain things, got to have that, that rhino skin. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to have tough skin. But he mentioned, he made a good point. Like, why they always want to kill the the God inside of you, the righteousness? Why they want to kill that? Why you want, you, you think it's more entertaining to you for me to flip out and be on some wild, crazy shit versus... Why I can't just be? Why you can't vibe out with me on this level right here, on this on this level playing field right here? I'm not. I'm gonna tell you why. It's because they haven't found the happiness that's inside of them. There's something something going on in the inside where they hurt. They've been destroyed. They've been stepped on, disrespected. However it is, I get it from somewhere. It ain't just they woke up and said, "Hey, I'm gonna just I'm gonna mess with this person because I don't like what they're doing. I don't like what they got on." It's because something happened to them that they said negativity is love and love is hate. You understand? It's like it's, it's messed up for them. So if you can, shout out, shout out. if you can try to to pull them in and, and show them some love. And some people just need attention. Sometimes you can walk down the street. I've been out a lot of times where 
I done just said hey to somebody and, yeah. and, and, and then they just start talking and instead of me saying, oh, I don't have time to listen to you. Listen. You know what I mean? They, I just sat there and listened. I listened to this lady uh, last month. I do my door dash and everything. And this lady, she just wanted somebody to listen to her. She was going through a line and she said, I thank God for you, baby. Hmm. Because you came a huge hypocrite for me to sit there and say, okay, I don't have time for you. Because I just gotta go and just drive. I gotta go. I gotta go home. I got a number of time in the world. That's why I walked away from my job so hmm. I can have time for things like that. That's a and that was God working and saying, "Hey, Chuck, you need to chill. I need you to listen to her because I got a message for you through her." And the message was is that, and what she told me is, "Oh, I love what y'all are doing. I'm gonna support y'all. Y'all need to keep going because the world need more of that." That's a fact. The world need more than that. We need more of that. Or this area, the world needs more of what y'all need more of that. So that's why I said, and I, and, and I would have missed all that if I would have just said, all right, I got to go. Hmm. And, and she needed something to eat, and I wouldn't got her something to eat. But I don't talk about stuff like that because it's not something to gloat about. It's, it's I had natural. the opportunity, I had the resources, and I had the time. Trifecta. So what's up? Why, why would I walk away from that? So, I did what I needed to do, and at all the same time, and then I learned something. And I was to humble myself, to be patient. On top of that, I'm, I'm listening and learning from my elders, and I need to slow down and then keep going with what I'm doing in this world. Because I know I'm doing something good because they saw the light. They did. What yeah. we just talked about. She saw the light in me. She said, I seen something in you, sweetie. I had to stop and talk to you. Hmm. And they could see it. They yeah, recognize and, and, and cause she even said, "Yeah, I was hungry, but after I started talking to you, I wasn't hungry no more." Hmm. That spirit feed, and you about to tell me? So you about to do all this research? You about to dig deep, deep, deep Man. in every book, every itch in the head, every type of knowledge to tell me something that you think, and you going against what I know? I know, and you think. That's two different things. Yeah. You not sure, so you got to go do all that digging. And you want to try to prove me wrong. Sit here, I'm not even trying to prove you wrong. I'm just listening to you. And I'm being an example. That example, mm -hmm. that is God's example. That is the whole point. This ain't as hard as people think it is. It's easier because if he's not the author of confusion, it's nothing to be confused about. The fact is, people just don't want to do good. Let's be honest. Like, it's more fun. It might be fun for you to do something a little wild and chaotic, you know? But the outcome of that, it always it always hits you. The consequences to that is going to always hit you. When you do the right things, you got, good, you got something good that's going to happen out of that. It's common sense. Like, it's not. It's not hard. Picture everybody. All right. COVID, for instance, right? Everybody had to sit down and chill. Uh -huh. If everybody's sitting down chilling and doing like, and they, they're happy with themselves, they're showing their love to everybody like they're supposed mm -hmm. to, what crime is going to happen? Any crime going to happen if that happens? Like, if everybody in the earth just chill, like y'all yeah. chill today, don't rob nothing, don't steal, don't kill, just do what you're supposed to do today. Nothing, nothing's gonna happen. But if you constantly let your mind wander, yeah. and you constantly you're trying to fight against something that you know right, mm -hmm. just because oh I'm grown, you you think somebody's trying to tell you what to do. Nobody's not trying to. If I, if I'm suggesting a better option, yep. that's an option A or B. You could choose A, B, and C. Probably even a D up in there. You know what I'm saying? All of the above and all that. That's on you. You make your own decisions, but whatever decision you make, consequence. That's God. What if, like, since since when that wasn't real? That's man. That's always been real, man. Like that, and that's the knowledge. That's the key to and keep reading, studying. You can, and you, and like like you said, you can keep study. Reading. You can read all you want to, but the knowledge that you got that you're getting from those books. Somebody had to live that. Somebody lived. So that's, a that's why I always say the best lesson is to live. Hmm. You have to live and experience and, and gain those, those, go through those trials and tribulations 
for yourself. Back to what we were talking about, baptism through fire, what I went through, what he went through, or what the next person went through, ain't going to be the same what you go through. You may go down the same path, but you're going to have those, everybody got their own alleyway they got to go down. They got to get their own lane. We are always talking about stay in your own lane. Stay in your own lane. Y'all on the same highway, but stay in your lane. Because you're going to come over here and you're going to mess up what I got going on because I figured out my stuff. I figured out what I need to do to make my stuff work. You got to go figure out. You you going somewhere different. You about to go to Burger King. I'm about to go to Wap the Whataburger. Right. So you going down the same freeway, but we going to go different lanes. We're going to take a different exit. It is what it is. Many ways to the top of the mountain, huh? Many ways to the top of the mountain. That don't, it's a way. It's, it's, <laughs> certain ways might be rough. Certain ways might not be so rough. You know what I mean? But there's always your choice at the end of the day. I'm praying for, I see you, I see you up there, man. We are, we going to pray for you and keep you and your family in prayer. Shout out to you. Shout out to everybody Bless, that's tuned in. Blessings to everybody who making comments and been yeah. sending gifts. We appreciate that. I'm, I'm glad y'all still in here with us and sure listening to us because um, while we while we ministering to y'all and letting y'all know um, what we've been through and what we continue to go through, mm -hmm. it actually helps us as well. You know what yes. I'm saying? So iron sharp and iron. Um, I'm definitely I'm always open. I'm always I'm always open to hear like a different ideas. Yep. And, different opinions and whatever um we don't have to be don't have to be combative to where it get chaotic man we grown people i don't we don't have to do the trolling and all of that but nah. they got people that's going to do that regardless because yeah. they find time that's what they like and it's fun to them to do yeah that. i ain't mad at you that's just some internet stuff don't people in pain man trust me but listen yeah. but but the real real recognize real when something's coming across mm -hmm. You can tell that people went through some things and mm -hmm. other witnesses is there to testify to what this person went through. This, what we're talking about, man, I've been through I've been through so much as far as dealing with people doubting me. It felt like I've been on an island mm. by myself for a long time. And really that that's how it feels, but in all reality there is people who are willing to help. Yeah. But if you keep yourself like me, I used to stay tucked away. Like I, I yeah. didn't want to hear nothing for a minute. So, but I'm sitting there blocking out who is there to help me. So mm -hmm. I had to, I had to be mindful of that. So I had to correct certain mistakes. It took me a little longer than normal because I started from the ground. Yeah. And I was trying to do everything on my own. It's not happening. Yeah, it ain't gonna that's not happening. So if you if you don't if you think you can do certain things with without a team, but it's gonna you're only gonna go so far. Yeah. But with a team, you're gonna get the job done. Whether it's a small a small group or whether it's a yeah, big you group. don't need a you don't need a huge entourage. You really don't. That's I, I be looking at that a lot of times, man. You know, it, it amazes me because I know the people in those groups, the little entourage. The, the amount of jealousy that's in that circle, and it's a hierarchy because you gonna have the, you gonna have the last person that, that came into the entourage, the little crew that getting the crumbs, and then you gonna have the first person that came into the crew. They gonna think they running everybody else, and they gonna be doing all this. And I'm like, you don't need all those people around you. Get the people that's trying to do what you doing or something similar, but they but y'all all trying to uplift each other. If they just there just to say, hey, all right, go go go. Do, what do you like? You said. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, you came over, you came with me and we did this or we did that, but what are you really doing on a day-to-day -day basis? Hmm. Do you have my back on a day-to-day -day basis? Are you are you here for the ride? Yeah. Are you here waiting for us to blow and then you plan to it. make your move? That's it. You trying to you trying to pull a Judas, you trying to, hmm. you know what I'm saying? Cuz um people close to you seem to hurt you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If if you not watch it, but you always know your circle, you really know what people are capable of, and you let these people around you. You feel the vibes from people. You might ignore the vibes. Don't ignore the vibes. No. It's too much happening. Put yourself. Um. Stop hanging around 
the wrong crowd that you know they they'll hear you talking this they don't want to hear this they're gonna go somewhere else i ain't trying to hear that mm. cool you don't have to but i'm gonna say what i gotta say sure. and one thing i'm not gonna let you do as a man i'm never gonna let you disrespect i'm gonna tell you so i'm gonna check you asap because i want to kill that seed that you're trying to plant i want i want to let you know i know that you plotting something you know and i'm trying to murder that seed so before anybody get hurt you or me, I'm going to go this way, go that way. That's how it goes. Certain people, you got to walk away. I don't care how you feel. Like People, back to people who get hurt by yeah. people, right? People, a person that get hurt by somebody, and then they'll turn around, they'll love that person who hurt them to death, yeah. and then go hurt the person who loving them more that's than that right. person who hurt them. That's right. I'm like, that's backwards. But they're going to stick to this person who's willing to kill them. If mm. they, whenever they snap out, they're willing yeah. to kill you, put you in the dirt. This person just want to love you. Mm -hmm. you. You want this person to love you like this person love you. And you mad that this person love you like that. And this one knows, so you hate them. Because you want that person to love you. Leave those toxic people alone, please. So they feel the love and love the hate. They, man. They, they love... They love what's anything that's going against what's righteous, like anything mm -hmm. going against what's correct. They love death, like you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Life, mm -hmm. they living and miserable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they worship death. Just because you worship death, that don't mean I have to. Right. Just because you're scared of those things, that don't mean I have to fear what you feel. You know what I'm saying? You got to come to a point to where you have no fear of these things because it's going to hinder you. That fear is going to hold you back. Yeah. Of course, you're coming up, you feel fears and different fears of different things, but you still got to work past those things. Like, you have to get to a point where you bold. Like, you <laughs> got that lion in you, ain't nothing. You turned up all the time, ain't nothing going to take you. They could wake you up out your sleep, you ready to go. Yeah. You got to get to that point. Mm. It, it has to be. Mm. That's where you surpass excellence and all of that. There's this levels. You could be in that, that um, you could be on a platform where that's man-made, where they think, oh, you should only reach this level. Mm. But, bah, record broken. That's how you surpass excellence. That's what it's going to take. That type of spirit, that bold spirit. To be able to face whatever's in front of you ferociously with no fear. I hear a lot of people talking about, oh, fear is good, but it never worked for me. Like, that didn't work for me. I had to get past that. When I was, I seen how it slowed me down. I know the difference between that now and then. It's a huge difference. I could, I'm able to... Do things I wasn't able to do before because I don't, I'm not scared to fail. If I fail, I'm gonna learn from it. Yeah. I'm not scared to. I'm not scared of you saying, "Oh, look at you! You thought you was gonna do this, and look, you bust your ass." I'm about to get back up until I get this. Hmm. I'm not scared to do none of that. I'm not. I don't care what you' talking about. That that only you gonna only work. That only works with people who care about those yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. You can say whatever you want. That's never gonna bother me. So that's the but that's the spirit people need to get over to get through certain things. They need that. You need somebody to talk to. It's always a, that you trust. Don't talk to anybody about your business that you can't trust. They're gonna have your business all in the street. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So for that reason alone, I was a loner. You know what I'm saying? And I know who to speak to who I know they're going to keep it. Like, everything I'm telling them, we're going to keep it there. That's right. And we're going to move on and never think about it again. You know what I'm saying? And, and work on whatever needs to be worked on that needs to be better. Yeah. We're going to do everything in our ability to make sure that happens. Hmm. You know what I mean? That's what's up. Well, man, you know what, y'all? That was a great little uh, great little show we had, man. And we weren't trying to really talk y'all head off or do any kind of lecturing, but sometimes we just got to get stuff out, man. And, and, and like I said, we only giving out positive vibes. That's a fact. Positive vibes. Brothers with the call, beware. 
but don't, don't be wet. You know what I'm saying? And that's kind of like, that's what we're going to live by, you know. And brothers with the calls and sisters and all, we're going we gonna to grab everybody, man. Children, women, everybody. everybody. We're, just trying to, we're just trying to keep the community together. Because like I say, with the separation that's happening, you know, understand with the vaccines and all that, they're trying to separate us. They're trying to keep us divided. divided. And now that this it goes way bigger than just race, man. It's health. It's a, it's a health thing. It's a it's a and like I say on the population, because believe it or not, you know, they trying to do it these populations, they trying to get us down to a certain certain number. So, you know, but you know, that's a whole other situation and just keep your eyes open, man, and, and don't believe everything that you see and don't believe everything that you read. You just got to, you know, research it yourself and, and then just Keep your eyes to the sky, man, because there's a lot of stuff that's happening above our head, and but everybody's down here in their phones. So, you know. man, on, on that note, everything, like you said, everything that you hear is not true. Yes, I've seen certain stories that the news channels put out that was yeah. wrong because I was right there right watching there. it. Sometimes they twist the story, so everything ain't what you think it is. You know, they're gonna make the people are gonna do things that benefit them. Let's mm-hmm. be, we, we dealing with humans. You see some of this, too much of this walking around. Mm-hmm. That's a problem. That's a problem. You know what I'm talking about. That <laughs> you, see too, you see too many people looking like us walking around. Mm-hmm. That's, what a, that's why they want to control the population. That's, it. that's one reason. Oh, not only that, they have figured, cleverly figured out a plan for us to do that to each other. Why don't we reverse it? And if you're not, if you're not a part of these people, you don't have to be offended. If you're not a racist person, and you're of the other race, we don't hate nobody. No, no hating. No, nobody. I don't care who. I've talked to anybody. I vibe with anybody. But at the end of the day, but it is a but. I'm not blind. I can see. I got eyes to see. I got ears to hear. You can't run game on me. I've been learning. I grew up learning how to read that. I had a mother. She was a teacher. She was not only book smart, she was street smart as well. So she taught me everything I needed to know at a young age. So I had to really, I really was quiet and listening to everybody and observing human nature. I know when to bounce out of a situation or well, when to stay in a situation is a good situation. This is a beneficial situation to everybody, so maybe I might stay in this situation. Mm. I also know certain situations, I could pick up on a vibe. I could look at you. You don't have to tell me nothing. I could look at you, look at you, your, your, look at you in your eyes. I know what you're about. I'm still going to give you a chance. When I hear you opening your mouth doing this, you always going to talk and tell on yourself. There you go. A person always going to tell on yourself. I'm always going to know what you're about. So I'm going to let you talk. I'm going to hear you. And then I know how to deal with you after that. Hmm. Certain people are very tricky. They could trick you. You know, they could come off like they sincere. Hmm. But they still going to do something that's going to be red flag. And I, I don't, I pay attention to that, you know. I, I'm, I'm going to check, I'm going to check some if it get too out of hand too. Or uh, if it could be a miscommunication, you got to know the difference because everybody's not out to get you. Right. You don't want to run off the people that's trying to um, help you. No. You know, you want to get away from whoever's trying to hurt you. So, I mean, we could do this like we could do this all day, man. Yeah. We could talk about this all day. I kind of, I kind of wanted to, you know, try to get some jokes and all that, in, <laughs> you know. But we could, they went a whole another direction. We could do that for another. We could save that for another time because it got pretty real in here. We got anybody talking about anything over there? What y'all got? Oh man, they got some comments. Um, let me see what we got. They say straight love, no uh, uh that's no doubt. No, that's straight love, no doubt. Yo, that's what's up, straight facts. Oh uh, yeah, she been commenting. Yeah, she been commenting. Thing, I appreciate that. What's her name? Ella, Ella Kim, Ella Kimmy one. Man, shout out to you. We appreciate you. Yeah, she's she been going hard. Gifts. We've been Good having morning. a few gifts. Shout out to Bettina. Appreciate What's up, Bettina? Hey, and who else we got up here? Warriors of Christ, most mm-hmm. definitely. Mm-hmm. We going, listen, we going all the way in. Happy birthday, Good love. Man. 
Uh, somebody we from appreciate Australia. Appreciate everybody. Man, we appreciate y'all. Coming out, showing love. We appreciate y'all, man. Be Wack Podcast. We got over 109 likes. That's what's up. We're going to be coming more consistently with these here. And, uh, we're going to have a whole lot of fun, though. You know, and then on top of that, you know, holidays coming up and everything. Because you know we're going to have to do a, a nice little uh, uh, Thanksgiving segment. We're going to have to do something. We're going to have to do something. I don't know what it is yet, but we're going to bring y'all something. And listen, y'all don't forget the link in the um if you're watching on this TikTok page, if you're watching on our B Wack on the um Brothers with a Cause Instagram page, we have a link in the bio. Yes. Click that link. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um Brothers with a Cause B Wack Podcast. Also go check out um us on Anchor FM. Y'all check out um uh, check out all the links that's um that's in the bio. They got a few links in the bio. We have merch as well. Um uh, we have we have some merch right now um on our merch website. So if y'all are interested in getting y'all some merch, DMs. Let us know. <laughs> like they could go straight to the site yeah, and you go and purchase to the site. purchase it. You know what I'm saying? If y'all decide to purchase it, DM me, I can give you a link. Uh, give you a discount if you're gonna get something. Y'all talk to me. Let me know what's going on. Um, if you just feel like um, I like what y'all is doing, we got a Cash App. I have a Cash App and a PayPal on the link as well. All you like, shout out to the people that's been leaving gifts. Yeah. That's a blessing. Like we we appreciate, appreciate everything. Everything counts. We're gonna build this up and we're gonna build the community. Any, oh, I keep saying, we're going to help. Y'all let us know. We want to hear your music. Send it. If, if you're on TikTok, yeah. if you're on Instagram, send the, send music. the music. We want to listen to it. We want to listen to it. While we building this program, while we're building this platform up, we're going to help um, others come up too as well. It's no excuse. Like, okay. not over here on this end. If you're listening to us, you don't know how to promote your music, you don't know how to market your music. It's no excuse over here with us. DM me. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm almost at, I'm, all, I'm almost over ten thousand followers on TikTok. Yep. I'm not sure. Let's help get to ten thousand. Let it help us get to ten thousand. Follow me. Um, we, you know, we gonna we gonna help. I do at your videos, stitch it. I do it personally. Yeah. My brother Big Southern, he'll do the same. We'll get it on all our platforms. Um, I also have a platform on um, Battle League of Assassins. It's an entertainment platform. Battle rap, it's not just battle rap, there's a bunch of other things going on. We, we're trying to work on movies, sports. If y'all, yeah. all my athletes, I'm an athlete, I mess with y'all. If y'all yeah. athletes, y'all in the gym, all my um, MMA, my mixed martial artists, my boxers, all of y'all, I want to see all your content, man. If you know somebody else that's doing it, we want we want to hear about it. If somebody about to get a scholarship, we want to hear about it. Yeah, that's right. Everybody else. The young boys that's running around, the young boys running around in high school on the <laughs> playground getting busy, we want to hear about, <laughs> about it. About it and we'll definitely, we'll definitely yeah. show it as well. We want people to know what's going on. Yeah. We want we want people to know that they have a future generation coming up and they coming and they ready. Right. We want, we, 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 we enjoy those things. You got some funny, you just got a funny video you want to share. Send that. I'm gonna watch that. Yeah. Send that. Um, send the video. I try to watch as much as possible. I get a lot of messages, so I try my best to go through every message. I can't promise you that I'm gonna get to every message, but eventually I'm gonna get there. So just keep sending them. You you never know if you if it, especially if you need help. You got anything else you want to tell them? And also, if you in the Houston area and you need photography work done. Thanks. I'm here uh, for y'all music artists. You know, I do specialize in uh, cover uh, photos. So you know, since I am an artist myself, I kind of know, you know, what y'all are looking for. Uh, give me a shout out. I'm in the Houston area. B Southern Photography. Check me out on at Instagram at B Southern B S U T H E N Photography. Also. Big Southern is my artist name. You can check me out. Music is on Tidal, iTunes, Spotify. You name it, it's there. Uh, also, doing the interviews and everything like that. I'm here, man. We here. We in the building. Be and, whack, man. And listen, though, that artwork, he did my artwork. 
been getting great yeah, results. Yeah, that's, that's, that's most yeah. of the battle. You artists that you artists, you don't know what's going. Get you some good artwork. Yeah. That's most of the battle. People gonna click on it just cause it look pretty. Yeah, y'all like those photos? Those Promise. Photos I did for him. And like I said, I'm helping my brother. He helping me. That's and that's how it's supposed to be, man. Iron sharp and nine. So, brothers with a cause, be whack. But don't be whack. Podcast. And we signing out. Love, peace, and blessings to everybody. Y'all have a wonderful day. Yes. And we're going to see y'all again. We're going to be back this weekend. Uh, probably We're going to announce it probably Saturday and Sunday. But we're going to be back this weekend. And we, and we, call, and we definitely going live. For a fact, we definitely going live. We're gonna keep this we're gonna keep this tradition up. And we're gonna give you a live shout outs too. So if you tuned in, we're gonna give you live shout outs. And if y'all have anything that y'all wanna share, any kind of business information, uh y'all have a business out there on that day. We got somebody coming in. I'm about we to got somebody what What's you... up? Oh, we good. How you doing out there? I'm good. How are you? Pretty good. Where you from? I'm from Missouri. Where are you from? We um, I'm from New Orleans, but we're actually in Houston at the at right now at this time. My brother, he's from Houston as well. Are you enjoying so, Houston? Oh, most yeah. definitely. It's a, it's a cooler day today. I know that much. Most definitely, <laughs> it feels good out here right yeah, now. Yeah, it feels real good. Cooler day for me too. It feels so nice with the wind. I'm so happy it's not so hot. This was up right there. You, you got a chance to pay attention. Uh, you got a chance to watch our podcast. Sure, I'll follow you guys right now. You follow me? Most definitely. I'm yeah. gonna follow you right now. I'm gonna follow you back. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right. So much. No problem. It was what's your name? Natalie. Sorry. Natalie. That's mm-hmm. what's up, Natalie. We got people coming from New Zealand too. Oh, Shout out to New Zealand. New Zealand. What's yeah. up, New Zealand? <laughs> hey. That's good. Oh, okay. She, all right. Shout out to you, Natalie. All right. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. We're going to be checking your content out as well. For sure, man. Uh, anybody else before we go off? Before we go off permanently? Or New Zealand. Call back? New Zealand, Zealand back. checking us out. So we must be doing something. Yeah, we yeah. must be doing something, we must man. Be doing something. We appreciate all y'all. Yeah. Everybody that's out there. And, you know, social media land. Just keep rocking with us. Keep vibing with us, man. Take y'all time. When y'all working out here, man, y'all doing what y'all want to do. The happiness, find the happiness, and everything else will follow. Say, don't get him turned. Oh, we man, look, we, we need to get you turned. We want you to be turned. Yeah. We need you to be turned up. What's good with you, brother? I'm preaching about you. Yeah. New Zealand. New Zealand, y'all. man! Shout out to New Zealand, man. We gonna have to visit New Zealand. I, I heard, I, I know, I know y'all, y'all fight. Y'all got a nice fight game out there. Yeah, we got them boys doing the, um with the kickboxing and all of that out there. Now, Mento, I like all of that. I want to check. I want to actually check some of that stuff out, man. Yeah, we might have to travel out there one day, man. Go see what's good in New Zealand. You dig? And it, so sure. No, well, I like I got the countdown. You got the countdown. All right, well, shout out to y'all, and we'll see y'all on the flip side. Blessings and peace. I won't brag, but yeah, we pretty cool. Y'all, yeah, y'all. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, we I, real, I, we I, I know, honest, I know man. what's up. We honest, man. I know what's up. Look, I be, I be on it, man. I be, yeah. I be peeping things out. Don't think I don't know. <laughs> but go ahead, man. Shout out to y'all. We appreciate y'all, man.